Hi, welcome. It's Kenny Russell, Bulldozer of Faith, living the life in the spirit. We're at Revive 2015. 2015. I'm with James here, and James is from Los Angeles. How are you, James? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. It's great to be here with this uh, amazing and wonderful people. Yeah. It's our first time, so I brought my son, and we're very excited. Yes. <laughs> He's behind camera helping out. Awesome. Oh, here he comes. Yes. Come and say hi. <laughs> My little man right there. Okay. Now, James, tell me, you know, what's, what's the journey been like coming into Torah? Is this new for you or how long? Uh, it's been about uh, three years now. And uh, it's been, uh, how can I explain? It's been an amazing, uh, humbling experience uh, just this past three years uh, being that my parents are missionaries and they came all the way from Africa as missionaries and we belong to uh, a congregation of uh, I think one of the churches my parents belong to in Africa has about 100,000 in their congregation and uh, so yeah so we came out here to bring the gospel to United States Hallelujah. and uh, it all turned so differently <laughs> yeah wow that's incredible so it all turned differently what brought the change you know from uh you know the christian church environment coming here to bring the gospel what brought the change what was it that actually brought you into torah well first of all i would like to say uh just a, a, a little a little history of 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 myself is uh um when uh, our parents brought us out here we lived in Minnesota, and my parents had a church in Minnesota, but I left. I didn't want anything to do with that life. So I moved out to Hollywood to be a, you know, one of those stars or whatever. That didn't turn out too well either. And uh, I ended up um, moving back to Minnesota and, uh, you know, had a near-death experience accident, uh, you know, and God saved me out of the accident. I woke up in a hospital, and uh, so I got devoted to church. I moved back to Los Angeles, joined the church, and uh, had a ministry on Skid Row. I was really, I gave all. I gave everything. But all along, I just always felt something was wrong. And uh, nobody told me about Torah. Nobody brought Torah to me. I actually found out about Torah in my dream, which is what everybody find it, my testimony to be so unique because I kept crying and saying something's wrong because I hear my pastor preach and teach. He taught on the book of Acts for a whole year. And it didn't add up. And he taught on Galatians, it didn't add up. So I kept crying and I kept talking to people. I said, something's wrong. Because I know I was a runner. I was really running. So I took some time off, three days, fasting and praying, packed up a tent, went in the woods. Um, I don't know around the time it happened, but um, I was laying in bed. And uh, I heard, I'm calling you to my law. And I saw a hand take me out of a mist of darkness and call me into a light. And said, I'm, gonna, I'm giving you my law, giving you my Torah. And that was how I found out that there's, it's amazing. <laughs> wow, so you're, you're going from knowing that in your spirit there's something not right. See, this is, this is the bottom line of what's very important. If we're seekers of truth, when we're hearing things that are not right, you know, I read the book of Revelation for five years, like, you know, 15 years ago, and it almost consumed my life, almost ruined my life, actually. I'd get to the end of studying another series on Revelation. I'd ask the, the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, is this the truth? And he'd say, no, it's not the truth. And so I'd go study more. I'd go through more. But coming into the understanding as a seeker of truth, we have the spirit dwelling within us. He will be our teacher. Amen. He will be our counselor. He will only teach us truth. He will only teach us truth. See, that's what I tell people that if it's a lie, then it's not of God, no matter how good it is. Not, you know, not every good thing is the right thing. Because I did everything that's good. I did it, I, you know, Sunday church, you know, every, all those was good, but it wasn't right. You know, I didn't know that I have a part to play, you know, that I, I thought the law of God was nailed to the cross. I thought the law of God was done away with. And I finally realized that, wow, how can the enemy win? The very thing that can be essential to your life and closer to the heart of, of the Father, which is the law, which is his word, make the, make the world hate the word law and thereby he wins well it's, it's almost like what we've done is we've we've clouded out the true meaning of torah his instructions because 
uh, we just deal with law and it's used in so many formats Negative. and so many ways. Negatively, yeah. So, um, as you share, you're, you're a man of passion for the truth. I can see that. You know, we met last night and it was great to connect with you. You know, you, you have the joy of the spirit. Many people say, come into Torah. Joy? Are you kidding yeah, me? There's so much joy. There's so much, count it all joy, you know, in everything. That The fact that we have the opportunity to know this, you know, and I, there's a verse in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in, in Proverbs that says, I, I, I'm sorry, is, I think it's in Psalms 119 that says, I know more than all my teachers, you know, and more than more, some, of the, some of the elders, you know, there's a lot of people with masters and, 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 and PhDs out there in theology, you know, but here I am, a guy from Africa, come to America and got to join God's Israel just on basic knowledge of the Torah through faith in the blood of the Messiah and through the power of the Holy Spirit to be able to live it out. It's so simple. It's so, I mean, the simplicity is so beautiful. That's why the Abba tells us to come as a child. Because if we come as with all our knowledge, you know, with all our, with, with everything that we've been taught and with all our ego and all our pride and everything, we will miss it. And that's what has happened. That is so exciting. You know, I want to ask you a question, put you on the spot, see how we do with this. <laughs> What is the, the greatest thing you love to share with people when you meet people for the first time? What's the greatest thing you love to share with them concerning the Hebraic roots, concerning your life? What is, what's the one key thing that you find yourself sharing over and over again that just bears fruit? The most important thing that I love to share is the fact that I'm actually getting to know my father. Hallelujah. I know what he once I know what pleases him see before I used to have to figure it out am I doing the right thing am I doing the right thing you know and now I was some you know that you don't have to figure it all out now you can just simply he's, he's laid it out for you see he knows you but you don't know him that's why Yeshua said depart from me I never knew you because you know he only knows those who are doing the father's will and what is the Father's will is that we keep His commandments, which is how we demonstrate His love. So to be able to, to, be able to, 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 to now I know, I know, he's, I know He has a favorite people. I didn't know that before. They're called Israel. When the smoke clears, it's not going to be this and that. It's going to be, uh, you know, uh, our groom and Israel. That's it. And so, so knowing all that, that's what I like to share with people. Because as a Christian, we struggle so much trying to figure it out, trying to, with all our emotions, we're very, we're very emotional people. We put, we, and we mistaken that emotion to be the Holy Spirit, you know, and, 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 and so with all our emotions, but now just the simplicity of Sabbath, look at this, the Sabbath is awesome. And, and my son, you know, just, 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 just being able to keep the Sabbath with him has really, really just blossomed our relationship. Come here, come say hello, come here. Let me get you in on the screen one more time. See, my son, um, you know, I, I, he's been learning so much, you know, and uh, he just, uh, and, and the, 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 you know, like when I ask him, you know, this is what I did not know at such a young age. When I ask him, what is sin? What is sin, Amen? It's breaking God's commandments or his laws that he told you. Yes, it's break, sin is transgression of the law. It's breaking God's law. So he, I'm instilling all this in his heart right now so nobody can confuse him Amen. that sin is anything else but breaking the Father's law. You know, and how do we love God? By keeping the Torah. By keeping his commandments. He understands, you know, so which is... And how, how old are you? Nine. Nine, awesome. I just yeah. turned nine two months ago. That is great. Would you, would you like to share the last prayer that we just learned, you know, they know, okay? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, thou I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Amen. 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 How? Oh, 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 you're not done. Oh. All right, okay. I forgot where I was okay. now. <laughs> um, that prepares the table before me. Oh, yeah. That prepares the table before me in presence of my enemies. 
They anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in all the days of life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. So Thank you. Awesome. Right <laughs> this is what we have to do with this young generation. Here is my foundation of what everything is and what I like to tell people. If the Father okays us to present him through lies, I want nothing to do with that God because then he has no right to judge anybody in this world that lies. If he accepts that this is how, you know, that, that because if it's a lie, I ask my mom and dad, how do you use this? Christmas and Easter and all this other stuff, you know, and this Sunday worship. How do you use lies to bring people into the truth when we're supposed to be children of light? So, so this young gen, the enemy is the father of lies, you know. So, if the enemy, if the father is going to okay us to lie to our children for the purpose of, purpose of his kingdom, then you know what? My brother, we're done. Why do we want to be part of something like that? We want to be part of. Uh, you know, the, the, the correct road, the highway of Yahovah, a place of peace, a place where we can walk and come into his fullness. James, you know, I've just really enjoyed this little segment, hearing a little bit about you, a little bit more than our discussion yeah, last night. We need to Nigeria. We need to go yes. to Africa. Uh -huh. I, tell, I tell all the people in Africa, the missionaries that have came, they sold us a lie. And we're very passionate people, you know. And see, when they talk about other gods, I understand that because we're around other gods all over Africa, you know. Even though America has other gods too, but they, 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 they hide it in the way of, you know, it, behind their little stars and over with all their gods. But it's time to take this message, this message of love, because the Torah is all about love. And I tell myself, if you don't see grace in the Torah, then you've missed it. Because the Torah is all about grace. There's nothing new. He gave us grace to love one another and to love him. That is beautiful. It's amazing. And it's not about the choice, law or grace, about choosing one or the, the other. Grace. Absolutely. <laughs> we have to walk in both together. It's yes. all part of the same Absolutely. package. Absolutely. James, thanks very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Kenny Russell. And I'll so. be seeing you in Israel. I'll yes. be seeing you in Israel. God. Yeah, look forward to seeing you there. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, yeah, bless.